What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dominic Quich. If you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe button. Road to 21k is in full effect. Manchester City versus Tottenham in the 2018-19 UEFA Champions League quarterfinals second leg. The first leg was won by Tottenham, one goal to nil, courtesy of a 78-minute goal by the Korean captain Son Hong Min. He was awesome in that game. But as you can tell from the title, I want to bring to you the best Man City versus Tottenham 11. Combined 11 of 2018-19. It's going to be different than the rest that I've done, but it's going to be fun and interesting. I'm going to go with a 3-4-3 formation with Pep Guardiola at the helm and Maurizio Pochettino as his deputy. And after I'm done giving you the best 11, I'm going to let you know who I think will ultimately go on to win the quarterfinal tie and play one of Juve or Ajax in the semifinal. So let's get this thing started. Let's start from the back with the goalkeeper. I'm going to go in with our goalkeeper, Edison Moraes, over the World Cup winner, Hugo Lloris, the captain of Tottenham Hotspur. Despite him saving Sergio Aguero's penalty in the first leg, Lloris has not been the greatest of keepers. Despite winning the World Cup and being at Tottenham that long. In 36 appearances this season, he has conceded 35 goals with 15 clean sheets in all competitions. And this is compared to Edison's 47 appearances, 34 goals conceded, that's less than um, Lloris, and 23 clean sheets. That's awesome. You know, so Edison, the Brazilian, number two. Pips, Luis Car not Luis Carius. Hugo Luis might as well be Luis Carius. Some of the mistakes he makes, but Hugo Luis in the goalkeeping position. Guys, I chose to go with a back three. It's not your conventional back three, but I went in with a back three because I'm really not happy with any of the fullbacks for both Man City and. Tottenham Hotspur. For Man City, we play none left backs in the left back positions, and our right back Kyle Walker, I, I am I am not a hundred percent impressed with at all in terms of him going forward, and he makes a lot of mistakes at the back as well. So I'm gonna go with a back three, and I'm gonna start with the left side of the back three, Emric Laporte. The uncapped Frenchman, I'm still surprised that he is uncapped. 43 appearances this season, 4 goals and 2 assists. So he's good going forward as well. He has conceded 22 goals in the Premier League this season. And he has 14 Premier League clean sheets. That's awesome. That's one less clean sheet than Hugo Lloris. So that's really, really good. Alongside Laporte, I'm going to go with an unconventional choice for the centre-back position. And that's going to be Fernandinho. He can play centre-back. Pep has used him as a centre-half this season. And he probably played it in the past. He's a very, very versatile defensive midfielder. He used to play further up. But later on in his career, he has now been a more defensive player. So Fernandinho alongside Laporte, 39 appearances this season, one goal and three assists. He has picked up a few niggles this season, so his numbers are not that great. But with Fernandinho in your team, oh man, you could do wonders. And he has been an integral part of Manchester City's title race this season. Alongside Fernandinho and Emmerich Laporte, I chose to go with a Tottenham Hotspur defender, and that's Toby Alderweireld. And he has 41 appearances this season, 10 Premier League clean sheets. He has not provided anything going forward because he stays back most of the time. Jan Vertonghen, his Tottenham Hotspur centre back partner, is the more attacking centre half um, out of the two. And Davinson Sanchez has been sort of in and out the team, so I didn't go with Davinson Sanchez. 
I, I had to fit these players in the team some way or the other. Danny Rose, not good enough this season. Ben Davies as well. Kyle Walker-Peters and Kieran Trippier all miss out in the back along with Kyle Walker. Benjamin Mendy who has been injured for most part of the season. Alexander Zinchenko, he is not a left back. He's been playing there. He's injured now. And of course, Fabian Delf, who has been Del Delf has to go. We gotta get rid of Delf. Delf has to go back to Aston Villa or something. But Man City is not the team for Delf right now. I'm, I'm surprised he stayed at the club that long under Pep Guardiola. So with Edison in goal, we have Laporte, Fernandinho, and Toby Alderweireld as the center backs. So let's go into the midfield and the wing backs. These choices are very, very different, but I had to go with where the stats were leading me. I had to go with what I've seen so far from the players this season in terms of form, in terms of consistency and commitment. Let's start with the central midfielders. Christian Eriksen, the Dane. 42 appearances, 8 goals, and 16 assists. That's awesome. We all know what Eriksen is capable of doing. He's been linked to Real Madrid. Did he, was he linked to Barcelona? But he's been linked to a lot of big clubs. But he is still at Tottenham Hotspur, you know, repaying the fate they have shown in him over the past few seasons. He fits into this midfield seamlessly. The man shows a bit of genius from time to time. Let's all admit that. His central midfield partner will be Silva. Not David Silva, but Bernardo Silva. The reason why I did not go in with David Silva is because Silva has been a little bit off his game as of late. He's not the same David Silva. You see him miscontrolling, messing up passes, getting opportunities in front of goal and not taking advantage of them so i don't know if age is catching up to silver or if he has other things going on in his head but i'm going in, going in with bernardo silver who has been awesome for city since he was signed last season he was phenomenal and he has grown as a player this season 43 appearances 11 goals and 12 assists wow 23 involvements, like 23 goals he's been involved in. That's awesome, man. He's repaying Pep Guardiola's fate, and he pips David Silva as the other central midfielder. I chose to go with two wingbacks. These players who are going to be in the wingbacks are not traditional wingbacks. They are wingers, but I'm going to go in with them as wingbacks. They will help out with the defense as well. So, on the right-hand side, Raheem Sterling. 43 appearances, 21 goals, and 16 assists. This is two consecutive seasons that Raheem Sterling has scored over 20 goals. The man has been on fire. He's been in the talk for PFA playoff the season, and he has been awful, awesome, not awful, awesome for England. He used to be awful in front of goal, despite being fast and technically gifted, but he just lacked the end product, but he has transformed under Pep Guardiola, so he is my right wing back. For my left wing back, I'm going to go in with Leroy Sané, another Manchester City player. Guys, we know what Sané is capable of doing. For Germany, even though he missed out on the World Cup, he bunks back in the Nations League and in the recent international break there in the European qualifiers alongside Serge Gnabry up top. He's been off awesome. Why do I keep saying awful? I, what the fuck is wrong with me? I'm saying awful. English, man. Terrific, terrible, awful, awesome. So <laughs> these words are like messing with me. But Leroy Sané this season's 40 appearances... 15 goals and 18 assists. This is some ridiculous numbers, guys. This is some really, really good numbers. So Sane will be my left wing back. So to complete those four players, Sane, Eriksen, Bernardo Silva, and Raheem Sterling. What a hell of a team. A different type of team, 
but still a very, very strong and attacking team. For my front three, left side of the front three, left winger, Han Ming Sun, the scorer of the only goal so far in the tie. He has been a phenomenal player for Tottenham since he signed there from Leverkusen. He has 41 appearances this season, 18 goals and 10 assists. Remember what he did to Germany at the 2018 World Cup, knocking them out. Han Ming Sun just shows up when you need him. He's one of the most underrated players in the Premier League in Europe as well. He never gets his props, but he will be a legend for South Korea. He is the first of my attacking players. In the middle, Sergio Aguero. 39 appearances this season, 29 goals and 8 assists. The Man City record holder has to go in this 11. Even though people keep doubting him and saying he's not the same Aguero, he just keep producing the goods game after game after game. Missed the penalty in the first leg, but I trust that Aguero will come better at the Etihad. He pips Gabriel Jesus to a spot in the attack. So, sorry Jesus, but you got to score more goals. You got to mirror Aguero. So, Aguero leads the attack. Captain of the team, Harry Kane. You can't leave him out even though he picked up a horrible injury in the first leg, a season-ending injury. He has been the Premier League Golden Boot winner for a few seasons and World Cup Golden Boot winner as well. He was in the race to win the Premier League Golden Boot as well, but that injury should rule him out for the rest of the season. 39 appearances so far, 24 goals and 6 assists. The Tottenham Hotspur man completes my Man City versus Tottenham 2018-19 best 11. What an intimidating 11, guys. Very, very attacking. I should say very, very attacking. But stellar, de stellar, stellar defensive players. Eriksen is also on the defensive side. And a really, really good goalkeeper who could play as a sweeper. Who could offer you a 12th player in... Well, an, an 11 player. An 11 player in the outfield. Why did I say 12? Only 11 players on the field. But, guys, that completes the best 11. Let me know what's your best 11 in the comment section down below. But, before I end this video, let's talk about the second leg. It's going to be hard. We should have at least drew the game, but to lose versus Tottenham Hotspur, we're putting ourselves under a lot of pressure because we have to play Tottenham Hotspur three times in the space of two weeks. Champions League first leg, Champions League second leg, and then we meet them again in the Premier League. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy at all. I have to double check to see whether the game is going to be at, man, well, it's going to be a home game for us. So we have that in our advantage. The next two games versus Tottenham will be home matches. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can actually defeat them because we need to. It's important for the title race and it's important for us to qualify for the semifinal of this season's Champions League. It's going to be hard. We should have scored a goal, but Aguero missed his penalty. Han Ming Son came up with the goods late in the match, and Pep Guardiola got his tactics very, very wrong. First of all, we need to pick the right 11. We need to pick our strongest available 11. Mendy has to play. Kevin De Bruyne has to play. Sane has to play. If Fernandinho is... Available, he has to play. Bernardo Silva has to play. All of these guys has to feature. Even if they don't start, they has they have to feature. And not in the 89th minute of the game. They got to come up. Pep Guardiola has to make his substitutions at the right time. And he has to get his tactics right. He has to get the 11 right. And we got to overturn this one goal deficit. Tottenham will be without Deli Ali. 
who missed out on the 11 as well. Tottenham will be without Harry Kane. But they will have Lucas Moura coming off of a hat-trick. He missed out on the 11. His he, he has not had a great season. He has only scored 12 goals this season. Providing maybe like 7 or 6 assists. That's not a great season comparing to the guys on this list. But he will definitely feature. So you have Lucas Moura. You have Son to contend with still. Sissoko has been brilliant this season, at the back end of the season. <laughs> I, I, I never thought I'd be saying this. You have Ericsson to deal with. And you have Llorente to come off the bench. Harry Winks as well. The team has, the team has shown that they have depth. They have shown that they have depth. They didn't sign anyone this season. And if they pull this off, it will be an upset. I'm not going to count out Spurs at all, but I'm going to show some faith in my team and say we're going to come through this and win this game. I'm going to go with a 3-1 win. Win the tie, three goals to two. 3-1 three, win. 3-1. I'm final on that. 3-1. But we can also lose this tie. If we lose this tie, I, I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised because it seems like City keeps getting to the quarterfinals and they can't get past that. We did it versus Monaco. We did it versus Liverpool. And now it could happen again versus Tottenham. You have to give them some credit. If they do defeat us, go into the semifinal to face one of Juve or Ajax, this will be the first time that Tottenham reaches the semifinal in the Champions League era. At least. It will be a great achievement for Pochettino. It will be something great for him to use as a launching pad going forward with the new stadium. And he should get a good budget in the summer transfer window to back him in future seasons. So, ultimately, I'm going to go with a City win. But I'm going to say Tottenham could also upset us and continue to lead in this time so that's final that's my final decision city 3-1 across two legs Tottenham heartbroken at the end even though I'm giving them a slim chance though they still have top four to fight for in the Premier League the fixture versus them in the league will be another crucial match so the season won't be over they have a lot to play for still Tottenham looking for top four so they could get back in the Champions League next season who knows they could go on to win the Champions League against all odds. Anyone betting for Tottenham to win the Champions League and they bet for Tottenham, they will win a lot of money. But guys, that's all I have. This completes my little mini series where I did a four videos, grind it out today, talking about the best 11s for all eight quarterfinal teams all four quarterfinal ties so if you're new around here consider hitting the subscribe button road to 21k is in full effect leave your best tottenham man city 11 in the comment section down below smash the thumbs up button for the effort and until next time i like to say thanks for watching and peace out rich squad man i hope we win i just hope we win